All right, here we are. We're going to clean up our template now that we did for WordPress. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in here and put in our titles. Um, I have the titles set up one line at a time so that we can put them in there and what I typed in earlier we're going to replace with the macro get string and the title of the thing and now I'm just going to put a random number at the end of it like I showed before when we were doing it I had 24 in there um, I just usually put like 10 to 99 because um, sometimes the numbers up to 9 or 10 are taken so we will put that at the end of the string so when it puts our title in for our username and title of our page it'll have our keyword and, and a number on the back of it which doesn't really matter because the keyword is the first thing so you just copy that over to your username the title and then you're going to copy your password to the password confirmation that way both of them are the same Make sure that everything's okay through your template. Um, I usually use an, an email that I've already set up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take an email from one of the file files that I have. I have an email file, an email text file that I have a bunch of emails in. And I usually use the same password for them because it's a whole lot easier to keep track of everything on some sites like on uh, forums and stuff that don't require you to activate your your email um, you can just put random email and a random password in there because it doesn't really matter now we're going to go to the email part here and what we're going to do is in the login I'm going to use that email address that I got from the file and you gotta take the result of the email that you put in and put it in for your login and then like I said the password I usually use the same it's something that I use just for setting up web to sites and I saw this on the forum or on the video where they put in 300 300 300 uh, I don't know why they did that I guess it's just to give it time for the email to reach your inbox and then we just want to connect the branches here, double click on the outlet into the email and then double click the outlet of the email into where it goes to verify the page and here's the important part um, you don't have to clear the cookies every time but what we're going to do is you can't use the link that you had out of the email every time so what you could do is you're going to take that that link that was parsed in the email do the regular expression and you're going to put it in here the result of the email and that way whenever you run this template whatever whatever activation link that they give you you're going to get the right right thing here and then what we're going to do in here is we're just going to go back and where you log in um, go back and copy your username field data and your password and put it in down here where we typed it in earlier um, that way no matter what username it comes up with and what password you'll always have the the right one when you log back in alright and then just go through and make sure everything's okay here I'm pasting the password field and I just go through and check everything and make sure everything's okay and there's, I'm not missing anything alright now this is where I typed in a title for the post on the WordPress blog what I'm going to do here is I have a bunch of titles that are in Spintax format in a, saved in a file so I'm going to get that and what I do is I put the string Spintax in here 
and I'm just going to copy this without putting anything in the input string and you'll see what I do here and then I'm going to put that in the attribute value um, actually I'm going to copy it over to a notepad you can just copy it over into the thing but so there's the first part and then the input string what we're going to do is it goes right in between those two dashes there I'm going to go to take a line from the file where I have all my post titles in spin tax format. I'm going to take that and put that in that string so it'll pull a random title and all my titles are based on keywords and what people are searching for so I just uh, usually make a whole bunch of titles. You can do it an another way you could just get a f get the file string and your text and you could put your titles one line at a time and pull them out that way and I'm just making sure everything's okay here and then what we're going to do is when we click the link that's it sent us to the page where our blog is is at the URL so we're going to take that URL, our username and password, and save it into a text file so we can have it for later. First thing you do is you go take where that page URL. Set a step branch for that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put another step branch on to save everything to the file. So this is pretty easy. You go use macro builder, macro editor, and we're going to hit files and directories and append the line to a file. Then you put in whatever file name you want to use. I just happen to use like bass guitar tips or sites. Whatever you want to use, make sure that you put text after it and right here it's easy to do. I'm going to take the result of the getting the page URL, put it in the macros builder first. Then I'm going to go and grab the username and password. And I usually put a semicolon between them. That way everything is the same and you can do this for whatever web 2.0 site that you want to that you want to do live journal um, wiki spaces and that way you have your URL and username and password for each one and you'll know what goes with what another nice thing about using a random number on the back of the blog title is that you could have the same like bass guitar tips 10 to 99 and have different blogs and have different posts in each one and have them. Alright, so then we're going to take all of our results from the username and password and add them to the macro. Here you can see I'm just adding the username, put a semicolon, and then password last. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to split the string up so that you can go back to the website and add another post. And we'll do a little bit with the, show you how to do the HTML editor and WordPress. And then that way you can add images or whatever you need to. And I'll see you next time.